All right, so we've got some water on the carpet. All the way back over to here. Yeah, it's all soaking wet. Let's see if we can find it. On the floor above here, yeah, this wall, this wall is wet and your floor is wet here. It's starting to buckle. It's starting to buckle a little bit here. It buckles all over. I just had a Oh no, this is coming in. No, but your floor is your floor is buckled all over here. Yes. Oh my goodness, it's all buckled up. Yeah, so I can I can hear something spraying behind the wall. This whole wall is soaking wet. This, all this all this flooring is damaged. Okay, so I can hear it behind this wall. All this is wet down here. And around the back side, I just cleared out this closet. And there's an access panel here. Oh, I can see water dripping. This is all soaking wet. Water is just raining down. Let's go shut the water well. So you can't... Oh, I see the wet though. Yeah. So at this point, I'm thinking it might be faster to put a clamp on this thing than go shut the riser down for this condominium. So I'm just gonna cut a quick access panel in here so I can get a look at the pinhole and potentially get a clamp on it. Ooh, that's a lot of water. All right, so we got this, got this draining down. Gonna get ready to cut our pipe. Okay, so I got my new piece of uh, copper cut out and uh, I'm just replacing, you know, the section that's exposed. Yeah, I probably could have fit a coupling over it, but uh, while I have the wall open, I might as well change out a little bit of pipe. I'm gonna be using two slip couplings because that's all I have. They have a little O-ring in here and this O-ring is gonna get clamped down by a tool and prevent this thing from leaking. So I always slide the slip coupling over the cleaner copper, uh, just a preference. And then this piece is gonna get slid all the way up so this mark here and that mark. So you can see that you got the proper depth. And then the bottom one, you can see it's right in between my two marks. Then we're gonna press it. So this is the tool here and it's got some jaws that go around the inside or the, uh, the ridge on the copper and it's gonna squeeze down on this. This tool here, uh, I think it was like $3,600. It's a pretty expensive tool uh, for doing it, but it makes the job super easy. Watch. I think I was halfway through a fitting there. Okay, so you just want to make sure that it's on the fitting here and then you just pull the trigger. Now we have to hope that there is no more leaks in this pipe because where there's one pinhole, there's for sure in the future going to be another pinhole ideally they would be replacing this pipe the entire riser but uh it's just not practical here because we're in finished apartments it's going to be super expensive let's turn the water back on and see if it leaks